Hollywood has a long history of famous names who did espionage work on the side, ranging from big screen superstars like Greta Garbo to TV chef Julia Child. Now a new tale of international intrigue is coming to light, this one about film producer Arnon Milchin. As Carter Evans reports, his double life was a not so closely held secret for decades. Arnon Milchin was the driving force behind dozens of box office blockbusters like Fight Club and Pretty Woman. <laughs> but behind the scenes, the Israeli-born Hollywood producer was also becoming one of his country's largest weapons dealers. In a recent interview for an Israeli documentary, Milchin confirmed what had been rumored for years. He was working for Israel's top spy agency all along. He even shared that with famous friends. I remember at some point I had asked Arnon about that, uh, being friends. I, I was curious, but not in an accusatory way. I just wanted to know. And uh, he, he said, yeah, I, I did. I'm Israeli. I, that's my country. I, 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 you know. Do his admissions in this report back up what he says in your book? Yes, and it's even like sometimes word by word. Mayor Jerome spent months interviewing Arnon Milton for a book he co-wrote two years ago about the producer's secret life. He basically told us about like secretive operations that he did for the state of Israel, especially in order to get material, information, equipment for the Israeli nuclear program. So he admitted to you mm -hmm. he was a spy? Yes. Milchin declined to authorize the book when it was published, but it wasn't the first time he answered questions about his past. At that time, you felt like maybe, you know, everybody looked to me like a James Bond. In 2000, Milchin told 60 Minutes how he used dozens of his companies around the world to facilitate sales of hundreds of millions of dollars of missiles and other weapons to Israel. But he hated being called an arms dealer. In my language, the word arms dealer is somebody who sells arms to all kinds of shady countries to, to make money or to start revolutions and makes a buck out of it. Uh, this is clearly what I was not. And he flat out denied working for the Israeli government. Question. Was I a spy? No, I was not a spy. Milchin now says he was integral to developing Israel's nuclear program. In the Israeli documentary, he claims he even attempted to recruit a senior U.S. nuclear scientist by inviting him to meet actor Richard Dreyfus at his home. Israel basically built all their centrifugas to enrich uranium based on information that uh, Milchan collected for them. So this information that the Israeli government used to build these nuclear centrifuges mm -hmm. was obtained from his spine? Yes, absolutely, directly. Milchan told both the Rome and the new documentary that he never broke any laws and he doesn't fear prosecution by the United States, even though one of his associates was convicted of illegally exporting nuclear triggers to Israel. As for his reputation in Hollywood, he had a simple answer. Hollywood, uh, is that what he told me? Hollywood looks for hits. If I will be able to provide hits, they will work with me. So as long as you can produce a hit in Hollywood, you're in good shape. You are in good shape. Now he has that hit. He's a producer on the Oscar favorite 12 Years a Slave, putting him on course for a walk down another red carpet in March. He wants this Oscar. This is his dream, ultimate dream. So it wouldn't surprise you to hear that possibly this may have had a bit to do with publicity. Yeah. Yes, and he's a wizard of publicity. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Carter Evans, Los Angeles. He's a multi-billionaire, but he says he never profited from that spy work. Mm -hmm. But he was still a spy. <laughs>